Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poggy here, getting ready to take out the French D373 in Air Realistic. Um, great little plane, really like it. Climbs well, can go fast, holds energy pretty decent for a reserve, certainly. Um, it's got four guns on it, and they've got a slow enough fire rate that you can conserve ammo pretty good. And uh, that's about it. Let's take it out and see what we can do. All right, so the map is Central Tunisia. We've got our stealth ammo, 800 meter targeting distance, minimum fuel load. Um, this is a pretty small map for Air RB. I mean, it's not that small for reserve aircraft, but pretty small, so you can usually get into the action pretty quick. Not a lot of uh, time spent climbing. Looks like we've got a pretty full game this time. The last few I've played have all been you know, six, seven players on either side, so happy to see this. Go ahead and start climbing about 125 miles per hour. Try not to get shot by our idiot teammates. Alright, we'll take the smoke off. Drop our climb a little bit to stay on 125. And welcome to the world. Awesome. Oh, he's gonna go police that shit. Get him. There you go. Look at that shit. I do like it when squad guys take it upon themselves to, to police the server. Alright. Having said all that. Great. 16 versus 16. They've got Merka in Germany. Got a decent amount of bombers on our side. So all the ground targets are down there in front of us. Jeez. And we got less guys on our side, so more targets for us. Let them screw around on the runway, who cares. All right, little peace shooter down low. I don't see the rest of their uh, fighters yet. You bombers up top, but we're not going to try and climb for them. Not really a big threat to us. Maybe the HS-123 could be, um, but the rest aren't. More worried about pushing their fighters down. H-75, what are you doing? All right, now we're starting to see him. HE-112 I saw for a second. He's probably the one we're going to focus on first, unless there's somebody higher than he is. They're all going after our 156. Poor little guy. Oh, maybe our BB-1 down there. So this is why you climb. Uh, you don't want to be the guy who's low in front of them. You know, the first target that they see that's an easy target. You're going to get mobbed. So climb, get yourself some energy. You have a much better chance when you get into the fight. P400 has some serious guns. We want to stay away from the front of it. And our team seems to be just feeding themselves to their team. So we got three guys against five. It's pretty hard to win. Uh, better to just hold out and wait for a better opportunity. All right, so this F3F might be interested. Even if he's not, I want to keep him from climbing anymore. I want to push him down. So they got eight down there. Interesting. Let's see anybody else I'm worried about. Let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to cut my throttle back. I'm just going to do a dive, see if we get any opportunities, and then we're going to climb back out. I'm not going to stay down here and turn fight with them. They will chew us up. P400 squad guy looks like our first target. I think he sees us, which is great news. Good hits into him. Let's go and climb out like we said we would. If 
flip back around now that we're higher than they are. Oh shit, P36, come on flaps. Just try to get out from his guns. Set myself up way too nice for him. Um, we should be able to outturn him. He's faster, but we can outturn him. That pilot doesn't pass out. So he was smart. He saw that we were going to be able to outturn him, and he just moved along. That's what you should do in that situation. All right, Crag's in trouble. We want to help them, but we also don't want to be kind of at their energy level, our opponents, when we get into a fight. Any fair fight you get into means you just aren't trying. So all of them can outrun us. We're just going to continue to kind of climb and head in their direction and try and grab them when they turn back around or start to maneuver. P400's interested in something. He looks like he's chewed up. Got a pea shooter over here. Let's head towards him, kind of keep half an eye on the HE-112 in case he gives us an opportunity. T112 is going to be turning back now. Let's go play with him. Not sure we're going to be able to climb Stalin, but we could probably get pretty close. So this is the best angle to go into an attack is straight down on your opponent. So we set us up nicely. We will out turn him. out of the turn for a second so my pilot didn't pass out. Alright, he's down. Oh, SP2. Didn't like what he was seeing. We can definitely, definitely outturn him. So we want to stay below his back gunner. Got to get straight behind him. Get his tail in the way of his back gunner if we can. Throw some shots at him. Back gunner's unconscious. Alright, he's down. Oh, we shot out our engine. Shit. Well, we're gonna head back towards base and hope for the best. But I don't think we're gonna make it. Be shy with throwing ammo at this guy at this point. Come on, swordfish, you got this. All right, he's down. too far to make it to base I think but I'm gonna give it a try um, and hopefully see you guys again once we're repaired and rearmed all right so we are repaired and rearmed there are four of us left in the game two bombers and me and a fighter on our side TBD on theirs luckily our teammate has gotten close enough that we can see the TBD so that is exactly where we're gonna head and try and end this game Tickets are running out a little fast, but uh, hopefully I'll see you again once we get to them. Oh, even better. Swordfish nailed it. Yeah, buddy. Hats off to the swordfish shooting down a freaking plane all right so we ended up with four air kills that was a good game four air kills first place on the team um yeah 
again, really like this plane. It's, it's great for the BR it's at. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To say this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.